Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. The tarot card for today is a very beautiful King of Cups, and this comes to us from the uh, extremely popular deck, the Ethereal Visions Tarot by artist Matt Hughes. You can follow him on Instagram at Matt Hughes Art, and this deck is available through US Games. And if you have been eyeing this deck, I don't usually do these many plugs. I think I saw where they're having a 15% off sale through Sunday. So check it out. We are going to see the moon leave Taurus, its sign of exaltation, in the fairly early hours of the morning. And move on into Gemini, where it will try in Pluto, which is currently in Aquarius until April 11th for the moment. And it will square Saturn which is in Pisces. I will admit that, you know, square could leave some of you feeling a little bit off, all right, but it, it is what it is. It comes kind of like late afternoon, but it won't last. It won't last. So if you, if you need to, it's a Saturday, just take it easy. Try not to commit to anything important at that time. Now, yesterday I spoke about, you know, we had the Queen of Cups. What a beautiful card we had yesterday. And today's is equally as nice. Um, this is an equal vibration. The queen and the king. And it kind of amplifies the energy which we've been given. You know, to be more kind, more compassionate, more sensitive, more caring, more generous. Yes, the king of cups is my favorite king. What are you doing with this queen and king of cup energy? Because they are definitely here to lend a helping hand. That's what they do best. They just sort of emanate this goodness, you know, like a light shines forth from them. And, you know, we, we see so much in the news these days. And I try not to bring these things up. But there are those who, you know don't fit with the job that they have whereas kings and queens of cups they have a tendency to be those excellent firefighters nurses doctors police officers people who are there for you in times of crisis those who do the right thing and look out for you and they're the people we need to remember to applaud them sometimes because I think lately there has been so much emphasis, unfortunately, toward those who would, you know, not really belong, I should say, in their chosen profession. Now, this isn't all about those or anybody in the news or anything else. This is about you as well and how you can go about managing life and taking their best quality, which is that ability to balance emotion, all right? You would think... Ugly, right? King and queen of water is what they really are. So you start thinking, well, they must be very emotional creatures, but they know how to manage it. All right. That's what makes them the ones who are willing to rush in when something bad happens and help other people because they don't let their emotions overtake them. All right. They, they manage all of it beautifully and they are always able to as Mr. Rogers' mother would say, look for the helpers, right? Those are the people who embody that king and queen of cups. Now, I don't think you're going to go running into any burning buildings today or anything, but you can do this in your own life just to be, you know, a good soul and a Samaritan even. But there's more to it than that because... The sense that I'm getting from looking at the cards that I see coming is there's, you know, this little bit of concern, which we'll be talking about tomorrow. The question is whether or not it's founded. And being able to manage your emotions, to do what you need to do. Remember, never let them see you sweat, all right? Uh, these days, you know, Monday through Friday is not always when people can dunk you know, conduct job interviews. You could be going online and doing one there. It doesn't really matter what day of the week it is anymore. You can, you know, keep your cool without being nervous. And you can also use that cool as a cucumber attitude to help you through any other situations which do come up. Because you have to remember, not everybody 
is wired the same. And there's always going to be somebody who's a little agitated. We have a lot of energies going on right now. And you just never know how people are going to react. But it does not need to be you. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.